Well, a year ago, I did a video uh, on my small engaged layout. It's sitting right now out in my workshop, covered up in plastic. Uh, haven't done anything with it in, in the last year. Anyway, it was one of the most watched videos I have out there with over 17,000 views. So I uh, thought I'd just take another look at it today and uh, take the plastic off. And for any of my new viewers, I'll take a look at this layout. The track plan for this layout came out of the Callback book, 101 Track Plans. It's an older book by Callback, but I think you can still get a hold of it. Uh, it was called the Smoky Mountain Gorge Railroad. Uh, and it was planned for HO, but I decided to make an end gauge. The layout is two foot by four foot. It's built using poplar wood, which is fairly light and strong. Uh, the scenery uh, was all made out of foam, covered with some uh, joint compound, spackling, whatever you want to call it. And then, and then detailed. I tried to give this layout away uh, a year ago when I did the uh, video a year ago, but uh, at that time I had no takers. Uh, and then my recently my younger son decided he wants to keep the layout, so it'll go to him eventually. The bridges are all scratch built. Anyway, it's a neat little layout. I just don't need a. <laughs> Engage layout. I was big in engage one time back in uh, in, in the uh, late 60s. I actually built a very huge engage layout and bought a lot of stuff for it. But uh, it just to me, it's it was just too difficult to work on this small stuff. Uh, so I, I enjoy the HO and the O gauge. The little uh, stone arch bridges, and there's uh, three of those on the layout, are all carved out of styrofoam. This little trestle I built. I made a couple access ports uh, to get into the tunnels uh, in case there was a uh, derailment in the tunnel. Thought about putting some... Uh, Colored lights in there just to make it kind of neat, but we never did that. There's a little covered bridge for the spur line. Anyway, uh, that spur line would allow, any, if somebody wanted to add an extension to it, make it a little longer. You could use that spur line. Anyway, it's just uh, sitting out here for another year out in the workshop. Thought I'd uncover it to sh show to you guys. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I planned to give this engine a little run on the layout. It hadn't been run. The layout itself hasn't been run for like seven years, something like that. But uh, as I went to do this, uh, because it's sitting on my uh, saw out here, my table saw out here in my workshop, uh, I'd have to move it around to get it on a stand, to hook it up, and it just became, it just wasn't worth the effort. So, sorry, I'm not going to work on it today. But anyway, here it is, and uh, hope you enjoyed looking at this thing again.